Yay! Woo! Woo! It's Thursday. Congratulations, yeah. it's Thursday. Well, you, su- you survived another week in life. Congratulations. You deserve points. And well, we still have tomorrow. That's the points. These times, that's an accomplishment. Well, since yeah. last Thursday, it's been a week. You know, that's true. That's true. It doesn't feel like it. it. Dude, time, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but like, it goes so fast. I just moved here three weeks ago, and it's four months ago. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, was, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Dude, I, I feel the same way. I'm like, I think I've lived in my house for at least like a week, right? It's yeah. already been over a, like a month and a half, two How about months. with your kid? Feels like, oh, oh dude, you, for, for you realize hour. Ash is going to be one this month? Oh, oh shit. shit. I met the what? little guy when he was six hours old, and I yeah, can't. Yeah, he was, he was the first non- Meg or Dan to meet our son. <laughs> That's true. He was born wow. last summer, the day I uh, uh, crashed the, or the girl backed into my rental Ferrari. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's the day Ash was born. Holy crap, man. That's it's funny. been nuts. Wow. It's been fast. But, I mean, such is life, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, by the way, I know, sure. it's, I know it's echoey. I ordered all the stuff. The sound stuff, it's just not here yet, so forgive me. But um, by the way, I wanted to send a uh, shout out to JS360 because he actually mm. mailed us a letter and he mailed us a check. What? Yeah. Which <laughs> the bribes he, weren't real. The, <laughs> he was like, basically, he's like, hey, uh, I was trying to do some super chats, but it wouldn't do it, blah, blah, blah. So here's some money. And I'm oh, like, shit. man, you're way too that, like, like Tyler said, took that bribe a bit too soon. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Trying to bribe that, us that's already. That's classy so. AF. I mean, yeah, what was so that? Thank you. And, and look at look what he's got. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That looks fairly similar. It does. So the is yours, that, yours is more gray, right? And that this looks more this like is a, blue, though. Yeah. Ours looks, is yeah. gray. Yeah. So there you cool. go. Yes. If you drive a 296, speaking of, if you drive a 296, apparently you can slow down time. That's only if you drive it against the rotation of the Earth, like in yeah. Superman. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. If you go so, with the rotation of the Earth, it speeds I have up. I have some teasers for you guys. I don't have the full video. I edited it, but um, I'll give you a teaser. That is what I drove today. Wow. God. Wow. I sadly Josh nor I were able to drive it. It was only Dan. I, <laughs> or you me. need to get you need to get on the Ferrari of Austin email list so that they like, you know, send you I, stuff. I would have thought it would have been included with the uh FCA membership, but no no because it's, it's that's FCA dot Ferrari NA. Oh mm. so good lord, that car oh Something sweet else. Jesus. I Man, what an ugly car! What? It, it's seeing the the marketing pictures. I agree, but it's growing on me, dude. I love it. The more I, I see a it, lot of cars. I, your I angles too. I still what, think what the rear end's ugly as sin. Mm. See, I like the rear end more than I. Do. I think the rear is sick. That is yeah. mm. the way the glass like the goes around, dude. SF it's got. It's got an HDMI plug in the back. Hell yeah. What? <laughs> HDMI not. is awesome. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You'll never unsee that now. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> great. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> because yeah, I'm a I, terrible person. I will tell you that I, I had very low expectations because of the V6. I was like, man. Mm-hmm. Dude. But you know, uh, force induction is the replacement for displacement. I I know, but you still cut off two cylinders. Like I guess I I, I just I get I know a lot of people like the sound and all that. Yeah, stuff. the sound V eights have a particular sound. Yeah. Ferrari V eights have a very particular sound. Flat plane crank V eights have a sound. I just and V sixes have. Fast. So here's the thing: most V sixes have this weird, like okay. Some people are going to really hate this, but like the Nissan GTR has this sound. It's like, and it's just like, 
It's terrible. It's just <laughs> absolutely terrible. Like every time I know they're so fast. Like you see Nissan GTR and it's like <clears throat> it just flies by, but it's like and like, yeah. You just hate the GTR just because it's a GTR. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Well, they are ugly. I mean, it is horrible. I, see, I wouldn't say that they're ugly. Oh, it's ugly. Okay. It's ugly. The GTR? Yeah, the modern, the modern GTR? GTR. Yeah. I'd say it's yeah. just... Yeah, the modern one. The modern yeah. one. The older ones look actually really cool, I think. The modern one looks like a how family new? sedan. How, how, how much it looks like a, You know what it is? It looks like a Nissan Maxima with a fucked up body kit. Yes. <laughs> yes. You like the Skyline? <laughs> yeah, the old Skyline's kind of cool. Because that was... In that era, it looked appropriate. Oh, you know, I think it doesn't look any much different. It's like the 911. It's hardly changed at all. Speaking from... of, you got to put John's comment up before it disappears. Wait, where is it? What uh, second from the bottom? Oh, hold on. Some people are really happy with only oh. six cylinder. We call those people Porsche people. <laughs> 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 but at least theirs are in a horizontal plane. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually think. Flat sixes sound way better than V6s. Oh, totally. Yeah, definitely. Because it's such an odd, unique sound. Yeah. 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 Straight back and I have to see. say, the Subaru four-cylinder, I really like the sound of it. It's really weird. Hmm. And With it's, the, I, I guess it's because, isn't it because of like the oblong, like the odd-shaped headers on it are really weird or something? I have no idea. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I've never, all I know them are from Reiser kids driving them around. Yeah, this is, this is, whoops, this is my one thing. They should have called it a Dino. I think that would have been really like smart marketing for them to be like, hey, it's the Dino 296. Mm -hmm. And I think people would have eaten that crap up. Yeah. It's a Ferrari. People are going to eat it up anyway. That's does true. It look, I mean, does it looks like the Dino, or was it based? No, on because it? Dino Dino was the V6. So okay. Ferrari Ferrari proper has never had a V6. Dino right. made a V6, yeah. but I mean they're the same company. Ferrari yeah. could literally polish a turd, and people would pay millions of dollars for it, especially if they invite you <laughs> and then leave it out in the rain. <laughs> Please see this yeah. fine turd has been polished to yeah. your liking. Did you, like, you option your turd? The CEO of Ferrari could pinch a loaf, they'd polish it, and people would buy it. Did yes. you hear about the Monza event? Yeah. Yes. Okay. No. Was it? It was That's like 80, 82 cars, yeah. I think. So, you know, they had all the Monzas out at Fiorano, and it rained. And they had no cover for the car. None of the Monzas have roofs. Unreal. Just the, such, such a uh, sad picture. That picture with like what hundred Monzas out there. Oh yeah, oh, the no, video. The, the yeah. video of it is hilarious. Oh, there's a video. That, yeah, there's a video of a um, a worker from Ferrari just running towards the camera to try and get him to stop <laughs> filming. What did they <laughs> show? What happened with? Like, uh, no, no, because like no one there obviously took a picture. No one who owns one of those cars is going to take a picture and be like, "Hey, yeah. here's my four million dollar car ruin." Yeah. I wonder if Ferrari's going to be at like at fault, at blame there, if they're going to have to kind of make up for their mm. customers, or if it was just bad know. luck all around. No way. I'm sure you sign waivers away and yeah. whatever. But how did they not fair. predict that this could happen? I know, right? Seriously. Yeah. I know. In that, Europe, that's a, UK, that's a really right? yeah. piss poor planning. But here's the funny thing you know, every single one of those people is going to be taken care of. Because if they you're invited, to, if, you're invited if you're invited to buy a Monza, You've spent many tens of millions of dollars with Ferrari. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Ferrari's probably going to feel like they have to do something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So conversely, conversely, they could just say, screw you, we're Ferrari. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll give you guys a little action. Here you go. This is, a, this is a sneak peek from today. All right. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> Pretty cool. Dude, I was giggling the whole time. The car is so fast. Was that you in there, Adam? No, no that was that was actually that was Randy. So I, it worked out so well. So I show up, I 
I pulled into the wrong, like, well, I guess it wasn't wrong, but like, I'm in the big diesel Dodge Ram, right? And I pull up and here's like, they got like the, the two Ferraris are parked, like staggered like this. So I have to like squeeze between them. And I'm like, oh God, like, so I'm putting, I put on my surround camera just to make sure. It <laughs> you know, I'm in like a 26 foot long truck or whatever. I'm like, oh God. So then I park and I co-op and all of a sudden uh, our friend Randy's there and he goes, Dan, come here. I'm like, what? He's like, get in the car. We're going for a ride. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he's like, Randy Popes. What? I said, who is this? Randy Popes? No, no, no. Uh, Randy Witten. He's a um, uh, one of the owners of the Petrol Lounge. He's a, uh, a yeah. at, at Coda. And so he's wow. like, look, I've been driving these people all day, but I haven't driven one yet. So I need to drive it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he's like, I've got 20 minutes until my next meeting. I'm like, well, that's me. And he's like, okay, great. We're doing it. <laughs> So he so took got out 20 extra minutes. So, well, so it was great because I got to do it as a passenger first and then I got to do it as a driver. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. So what did was, you think of all the, uh, the screens and everything, how, how digital it was? I honestly, the, the screen, the, 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 the dashboard's really good. Like once you get driving it, you don't realize the tachometers digital. Yeah. They went away from a physical tech. Yeah. There is no physical gauges. I anywhere. thought that they would never do that. It was the Roma didn't have it, right? No, the Roma doesn't either. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was good. Oh, the red and blue one? You mean um <laughs> this one? <laughs> it's growing on me. It's all I'm I don't, saying. I don't like I love it. it. It's growing on I me. I love it. Look, it looks it looks okay from the front, but it looks epic from the rear, I think. Where's that HDMI port again? <laughs> plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> oh, man. I think analog yeah. tachometers are awesome. Like, that's I mean, I do, miss, I do miss the analog tachometer, but they did I a good job. I think two gauges should always be analog. Uh, yeah. Boost. And RPM, yeah. yeah, because the boost gauge in the 911 is just a digital number, and it's not the same. But when I'm well, driving wanna, my truck, you always want to gauge with a sweeping arm for the yeah, boost. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. In it my can't truck, be digital because like my truck has a digital boost gauge, but it's a it's actual. Yeah, it takes you know. away that analog feel. It becomes no, the, more like one step removed from the car. The yeah. number, yeah. no, it's just numbers. It's just a number readout. Yeah, but it's a straight number. The only one, the only number that should be just a number with no gauge is the speed. Yes, I agree yeah. with that. Right. And the only it's reason is because, rate. like, the I want to see my speed both. and be able to know it instantaneously so I know how hard I have to hit my brakes when my radar detector goes off. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> it's not a range. The other numbers course. are a range. So you need yeah. to know kind of the top and bottom. That's right. one thing I love about my truck, though, when it hits 27 pounds of boost, watching the needle go all the way up, that's awesome. Yep. But, Adam, you got to admit, in the 650, the tachometer is almost useless because it goes from 3,000 to 8,000, just like, boop. Like, yeah, true. <laughs> Still, the fact that it's there. Yeah. So, honestly, you don't even look at the tachometer in the no. 296 because it revs so fast. You look at the shift lights. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. Supposedly, that's the reason Lexus put a digital tachometer in the LFA was because the engine supposedly revved faster than a physical needle could move. Probably. Well, I believe it. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to play that clip again. I don't know if you can see the steering wheel or not. Let's let's take a look. Here we go. Yeah, I can yeah. see the lights. Yeah, so you can, can see the see lights, it. and you can see it goes from red to blue. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's super cool. I mean, yeah, that, that, that's right? cool. That was, that was really good. Red, blue, yeah. purple, right? No, it just goes red to blue. Oh, there's no third color? Oh. No, just well, red that's to race, blue. That's race car stuff. That's good that they retain that. Yeah, and it's yeah. you need that because it comes yeah. fast. What it's car fast. was that that we saw the dude ordered a carbon fiber steering wheel but without the rev lights in it? Oh man! Who did that? Do? No, it was uh, it was Pietro's car. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, we know his luck with technologies. 
Yeah. No, the, the, let me tell you, the shifts in that car are stupid, stupid fast. I believe it. Yeah. 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 It was, it was amazing. I, I don't know. I'm smitten with it. <laughs> smitten. I want one, man. It was, it was really good. It's like the thing is, unlike the 48 and the F8, there's no lag at all. Like you cannot, there is no perceptible turbo lag at all. It's variable vein turbos are getting better and better. But it's, but it's also a, it's a hybrid. So the That's electrics, true. the That's electrics true. taking yeah. over when the turbos aren't there. That's Fred, true. I Fred says that. get it. How how difficult are those to get right now? Oh, good luck. They don't. I mean, I don't know. Is are they like officially on the market yet? I think so. I don't know. Yeah, Fred. How about you know. order one and then we'll buy it off. All yeah, you. Fred, you're the one to order. Yeah. <laughs> well, Fred's already got an SF90 on order. True. Or he's, why he's got a reservation for one, right? I don't. Have you yeah. spec'd it, Fred? I don't even know. But Did Jack end up getting the SF90. Not, well, he's not got one yet. on order. Yeah, it hasn't come in yet, Jocko. If you're here, let us know. I mean, I, admittedly, I would rather have the SF90 than this because a thousand horsepower. B12. Yeah. That, I don't know. No, it's a V8. A thousand the, horse, SF90 is a V8. A thousand horsepower. Oh, is V8. Not oh, okay. Yeah. It's not. I always get that confused. I mean, Jocko was faster in the pista on the track day than the SF90 drivers. Of course, they're not trained drivers, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But Jocko was a race car driver. He yeah. yeah. But the pista yeah. also sounded way damn better flying yeah. past on the straight. Like, yeah. I wonder, how were they able to get the the uh, boosted motor in the pista to sound good enough to please people that aren't fans of turbos? Well, it sounds like a jet. It does. It has it has a ton of turbo whistle. Yeah, it like when it goes by, like it's jet. like, wow. yeah, it's really loud. That's a good one. How many horsepower in the two ninety six? Eight hundred and eighteen. That's borderline unusable. Yeah, that's insane. Well, of course, so on the road. Could, so, um, first gear, you could feel that the computers are not using full boost and not giving you full horsepower. Because oh, it absolutely. Would be, There's no it would way. Be uncontrollable. There's no way. I so, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't start giving you full power until like third or fourth gear. It was no, it was third gear. So third you could gear. feel it. You could feel so like it was funny because it goes, and all of a sudden you shift and you get it it pulls harder in second gear than it does in first gear. Wow. Which is a weird sensation, right? So you're like you're wow. like, whoa, whoa. And then it gets the third gear and it's like Whoa. <laughs> so like it amps up all the way through third gear and then you know physics starts to take over and it slows wow. down a little bit but it was crazy what I mean, gear did you get up to on that run i don't know let's watch it again <laughs> here we go here we go Fourth. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you just forgot the downshift at the end. Mm. Mm. <laughs> or it wasn't in the clip. There's still there's still some downshifts in there. That's the best part. Yeah. Zero to sixty, two point nine. Dang. Yeah. You're getting I think you're getting to the limits I mean, of uh what tires yeah. and stuff are capable yeah. of at that I feel like yeah. With these supercars, if cars are in the, like three is now three and up is now like too slow, right? For these, I know, isn't that stupid? Yeah, You're like, oh, it's too. only three and a half seconds. Yeah. Your car's slow. <laughs> I'm slow in my 911 at like 4.2. It's all about the sub, <laughs> sub yeah, <laughs> four, four, four. What the hell? Yeah, my SUV gets four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, four miles a gallon. But no, if, yeah. if you watch. What, so I'm gonna play it one more time. Watch how first gear is kind of slow, second gear comes on hard, and then third gear hits even harder. Okay, mm -hmm. so watch this. It's crazy. It just it amps up every gear because they're clearly the computers limiting boost, and the electric system, the hybrid system is kicking in harder and harder. Here we go.
Yeah, yep. you see how like second gear was shorter than first gear, and third gear was the same duration as second gear. Wow. What did yep. you have? What what mode did you have it in? Race. Okay. Yeah. So um yeah. Well, <laughs> well over that. Something like that. It was over that. It's nice when Mexico is so close. I know, right? I, I was like, I was in, uh, you know, I was in Dripping Springs, Mexico. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> I and mean, you know, even if you got pulled over, how would he write you a ticket? I'm sure that car is not in their database yet for making oh, yeah, miles. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, sorry, I mean, you give me a ticket. Sorry, made me do it. <laughs> Dude, the roads that we were on were like back roads and whatever. So. <sighs> I yeah. mean, there was no one. There was not a single car that you pass. It was just like, oh, it was perfect. And they're very twisty roads. They really did. I kudos to Ferrari, man. They know how to put on an event. Like it was That's pretty cool. awesome. Like you pull up, here's these cars sitting there, like just classy. You walk up, you register, like you go drive it, you come back, they have like good food and beer and wine and shit. And I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll Yes, I will gladly have a Peroni. Did they and, had Miller um, Light. No, they had Peroni because you know Italian. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's good. They kind of got to do that. If they don't do that, then you walk away feeling like, what yeah, was that? No, it was walk away going. I'm gonna go buy a Camry now. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's screw this thing, man. I want a Camry. I want practicality. I want five Camrys. <laughs> <laughs> Still might not cover that car. Yeah, true. So I, I heard the that. I heard the base price is like. 315 Ooh. or 320. All right. So no option. So if you option it, it's going to be like four something. All right. So I'm not buying one anytime soon. Is what you're saying? No, no, right. that's my problem. No, when the uh, 650 skyrockets in value. Yeah. You'll be able to yeah, right. trade it yeah. and buy it. Yeah, the next time it. I win the lottery, I will be buying one of them. Yeah. Speaking Maybe of two. which, I just saw in the news, uh, there's like a $7.5 million ticket that's unclaimed in Texas for the lottery. Really? So well, here's the... You check your lottery tickets. Here's the little engine. The little V6 that could. Is that the uh, spider or the coop? This is the coop. Mm. The spider... Oh, it's kind of depressing that you can't see more than... Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can see a lot of it. I think, if I remember correctly, so the turbos sit in the valley. A lot of the cars are starting to do that nowadays. So it's got the intakes. The intakes are on the out. It's reversed from a normal engine. The the exhaust is in the center. The uh, intakes are on the outside. Hmm. So the where it says Ferrari, that's actually over the turbos. Okay. I've seen a lot of more cars starting to do that. I know mm-hmm. AMG does it. I think BMW. I mean, it's, it's a quick does way. It. It's a really interesting way to get a very compact engine, right? Well, yeah. I think today, I, I think the real reason they're doing it is because it boosts faster because the gas doesn't have to travel as far. Right, yeah. and if you notice, so it's a hundred and twenty degree engine. Look how look how far apart the heads are. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, You're and like, all your heat's up top then too. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So cooling it and like all, so you notice you're basically staring right at like the catalytic converters. Huh. I think that's the problem BMW was having if they were the ones doing it. I can't remember. I could be wrong, but they were having issues with really bad heat soak because the turbos were sitting in the valley oh, and yeah, there's like see. no air movement through there. I could so, see that. I could see that. Hopefully, hmm. Ferrari have solved that issue. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. How many spider? Orders will appear? Well, so they had a spider there. This is the GTS. The man's asking the real questions here. <laughs> How did the, um... Oh, yeah. so it only has one cup holder, and it was a big cup holder. Nice. Big gulps, huh, guys? Well, yeah. we'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I How love that the, movie. Any uh, noticeable difference in the brakes? No, they they were very good. Like, um, I didn't I didn't jam the brakes, but uh, Randy did pretty pretty solid. And I'm assuming it's carbon brakes. Yeah, they're still carbon ceramics. Hmm. But the um, the hybrid system does pull off a lot of the speed too. Hmm. Yeah. So it you know, 
Oh, by the way, it's a true hybrid. You can drive it in full electric. How far though? Not very far. Away from your neighbors. Yeah, Thirty miles. <laughs> No, because I well, think it's 30 miles. No, yeah. I would be surprised enough, if it... enough to not upset the HOA. Yeah. Well, so you can, you can start the car in full electric. You can drive out of your neighborhood, like sneak out of the neighborhood, you know. But, That's but cool. that was, it was kind of cool because so we're driving down the highway and I put it in electric mode. And if you let's say you're like out Dude, just driving cool. and also you get a phone call, you could just put it in electric mode and just cruise nice and quiet. Hmm. It was. Yeah. That's cool. I, think the, I think the McLaren P1 could only go like three miles or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean that ten year old. That's kind of what I'm assuming yeah. that would do. <laughs> Hugh says fifteen. Dirt Flix says two thousand. I like feet. this <laughs> so. high voltage to fry. What could go wrong? Yeah. Right. yeah. Hopefully, Lucas Electronics didn't make it. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Speaking of Lucas Electronics, I learned something about the 650 today. Oh, yeah. It still has a touchpad, just like the 12C. What? What do you mean? For the door opening? Uh, well, so let's let's play a game. Uh, Dan, Adam, Gabe, guess where the touchpad is and what it does. Um, <laughs> open the gas I wish pad. I had the Jeopardy song. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, hold on. Let me pull up a picture of it so I can know exactly what it is. Open the gas like. tank cover. No. So you got to answer both parts of the question if that's your final answer, Gabe. Oh, um, where, where is, is it? Thing? And what does it do? What does it do? Well, it's got to be under the door. No. no, it doesn't have to be on the. On oh, the there's a button. Side. There's a button there. Yeah, there's a button for the door under the door. Is it on the inside of the side vents? Well, I mean, and the screen is a touch screen. No, it's, 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 I'll, 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 I'll give you that it's on the exterior of the car. It's, a it's swipe. on the exterior. Yeah, it's a, it's not necessarily okay, a swipe it's... panel, but it's a touch capacitive panel. Okay, I'm gonna say it's in the side. I bet it's for the it's for the front, isn't it? You got to answer both parts of the question to lock in your answer. What's the, where where the is it? And what does it do? It's on the gas. It's for the, It's in the front of the under the front bumper. And it does the front. I'm gonna okay. go. It's in the Final side answer. scoop. I'm gonna go. It's in the side scoop, and it does the gas door. Okay, Gabe. On the it, was on, it was on the cap itself. All right, Adam's the closest. It's in the side scoop. So just past the button for the door, if you Suck keep it. going in the side scoop, and it locks the car and rolls up all the windows. Wow. What? Huh. So it's super convenient. I just learned this today. It's not even the manual. I read the whole goddamn manual for that car. That's not mentioned at all. How what? bored were you that you read the whole manual? Uh, I was trying to <laughs> learn this 100. Sixty thousand dollar car behind. So. Like, yeah, right. like, like, what do uh, I buy? <laughs> yeah. So you take. Well, I was told four fingers, but three to four fingers up to the edge of the side scoop, just past the uh, door unlock button or door open button, and it locks the car down. It's fascinating. Interesting. I, why? And that's apparently also in the five seventy. Whoa, well, that is a terrible the, name. Uh, Sorry, but BB03 0593. Yeah, crazy. Well, thank, thank you. you for the money either way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the name could use a little work, but we'll take it. Thank you. Watch it have like sentimental value to it. And you guys right. I know. I yeah. just insulted I insulted his mother. He won the lottery with that number, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, I need to get more wine, so I'll be right back. Four fingers means she's too loose. Well, it's a McLaren. <laughs> so <laughs> Tyler, is that on both sides or just the driver's side? I only tested the driver, but I need to check it. I also need to check it if it needs a key or not, since it's just a lock. Um, but yeah, like if you so have the, to have the key close to it. Yeah. Um, what if that was like a secret way to unlock it? It might, yeah. It'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I, I tried it over and over, and it wouldn't unlock it though. Okay. But, um, then I, I doubt it's an unlock. Though. Yeah. So the uh, it, it doesn't fold the top up, but it closes all the windows, uh, folds the mirrors, and sets the alarm. Are you driving the car again? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have been. I mean, oh, okay. not not super hard. I need to still we still need to do work on it, but. Okay, I just I thought last I heard you were waiting on a couple of parts. Yeah, if Josh was here, I'd give him shit about fluids, but. <laughs> Josh oh, isn't here. are they sitting in Will Call at World Pack? No, he. Hasn't told me if they're cheaper than Amazon or not. So, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> trying to save some money. Mm. 
watch all this time. It'll save you like two bucks. I know. It's going to be nothing. Oh, look who just showed up. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah I, I can't see. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. Back from the Bahamas, I'm gonna David. be. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know it was Thursday. <laughs> we were oh, oh, you didn't? No, I. I'm just like so out of it the last few days. I I saw the notification on my phone that the live was starting, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Hi, Allison. That's what happens when you're lost at sea for a week. Uh, yeah. How was the Bahamas? Uh, oh, dude. It was, um, it wasn't the Bahamas. It was. I sailed from U.S. Virgin Islands, St. George to Grenada, and uh, it was like four four hundred fifty mile trip, and it was miserable. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! I, I, I'm, I'm going to show. Question. I'm going to play this clip one more time, just because you haven't seen it yet, Josh. Here's a okay. a little clip from today. Here we go. Nice. Too bad it sounds like an Infinity G35. <laughs> oddly specific. Yes. It has that. It has that certain sound to it. It does. It does have that V6 sound, doesn't it? But yeah. it's, it's it's not GTR V6 sound. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. How did it sound in person? It's not bad. It's and it's got a lot of good turbo noises, lots of blow off, lots of spooling up. You know, it was. I I loved it. I really liked it a lot. I'm I'm smitten, and I think it looks. The thing is, it's a small car. Like it's got a much smaller wheelbase. Yeah. So it just. I mean, it just looks so like from, a sports car. From this angle, I'm getting uh two. What did I say? Two eighty nine. Two not. 288 vibes, 288 vibes, and I'm getting like I'm getting like Fiat vibes from the back window or something. I don't know Mm -hmm. something weird about that. Yeah, yeah. The back. Gabe said he get sees a Ford GT in it, and I can kind of yeah. I I definitely see the Ford GT on the roof line for sure. That I see an HDMI plug. God. (laughs) Yeah, the back is not great. I mean, Thank look, you. I'm glad I think, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I think you yeah. have to. I like it better with the blue. You have to see it in person. Yeah, right? this looks I good. It's terrible. The, oh, that's bad. Is the back oh. window? Can you, you can see, see the, the back window? You, so even the, the spider. Yeah, you can see through the black window. Window and even the spider okay. has a window. That's cool. I was happy to see that they brought back. So like, here's the spider. You can see that actually has a window. So what's the MSRP on this thing? Uh, yeah. Looks like a Vora. Yeah, I can see that Lotus. I mean, it's a lot. Is it like 300? It's over 300 base. That seems like a lot for a little car like that with a V6. Well, it's got 818 horsepower. Oh, really? Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Yeah. It's a tw- it's a twin turbo V6 hybrid. Man, what's that thing going to be? What's like it going to be like in 10 years from now? Like, right. I don't know. Well, it'll be a twin like, turbo V6. <laughs> with, a, with, a bunch of, with a bunch of battery warning lights on. Yeah, with a bunch of heavy <laughs> dead weight in it. Yeah. Somebody will figure out how to put like a Tesla or a Prius battery in it or something. Yeah. I think it's probably too low a production for anybody to bother with that. Oh, are you thinking that it's Roto? I am, yeah. The fact that it's a low production number may mean the that rocks. they used a uh, battery already on the market. Yes, on the rocks. Nice. Oh, you're just drinking it on the rocks? I uh, see none. Yeah. That's, yeah, like I, the I commercials. These, I don't know. On the it's rocks. an after. It's like an after dinner dessert drink. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I know you like to drink it with uh, sweet and sour in it. Yes, and red of sour. Mm. Uh, which is still good, but I like it straight yeah. better. Yeah, okay, it's acceptable. <laughs> I do like I do like the MC20. I think the MC20 looks good. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree. So, I'm curious. I want to try one of those still. 
Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Um, hey, I'm hey, Maserati, you watching this? this? <laughs> you watching this? That Maserati is a good looking car, car though. I agree with you, Josh. I'm not. I've never liked the look of them, but the MC40 looks well, good. Well, all I all I know like, is you know. that I've had a I've had a few <laughs> over the years. And the, the build quality on them is absolutely horrendous, especially the newer ones. It's like it's got the same electronics and buttons as like a Dodge Dart. It's terrible. <laughs> All right. I, well, I'm not crazy. Chris just tried Dirt Flicks, just tried the McLaren three finger thing, and it worked oh, for him. So I thought it was four fingers. Well, that's what I was told, but three only fit for me. Oh, yeah. did you run out to the garage or something and try it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait a minute! I it's not in any this. manual. It's not listed anywhere. It was on. Where did you find out about this? McLaren Facebook group. He was caressing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I was just touching every part of the car and like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah. You're having a moment. Just touching. Yeah. Maybe put on some, put on some classical music, in. some white gloves. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> maybe it was one of those things that McLaren put in there for you know like. The super McLaren fanboys to yeah. know, and like if you know, what is it? Thing. Could be. There's there's a touch sensor. Oh yeah, you were late. There's a touch sensor on the 650 still, uh, just past the door under the air scoop. Uh huh. That that rolls up all the windows, locks the doors, sets the alarm, folds the mirrors in. Oh, that's badass. Yeah. <laughs> that's and it's not, over it's not listed anywhere. No one doing. seems to know about it. But that's it's on... the fr- that's the fraternity handshake right there. It's like yes. what I was just saying. <laughs> It's like you get out of the car, you make eye contact with somebody, you just give the yeah. car that touch, and all that changes in the car. <laughs> yep, that's that's the I want to show off to my date feature. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey. like, oh no no, hold on. <laughs> now if it if it put the top up, that would be even better. Just like Ooh. oh, it doesn't do that. Nah, it doesn't uh, put the top up. I'm trying to think if you showed up in a McLaren to a first date, would it? Work better for you, or would she think you were? I mean, <laughs> it, it, it depends. Depends, depends, depends on what you're girl. going for. Depends, depends on how depends premium on she is. It depends, <laughs> yeah, depends how premium she is. That's true. Yeah. If she's highly premium, you will definitely get laid and a disease. <laughs> yeah, I think I think yeah. the best method is to roll up in a shit box and go with that for a few dates. And if she's into you, then roll up in the McLaren. And well, I mean, that's oh, if you you're trying to find someone to marry. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Tyler, Tyler Pro- can tell us. Yeah. Well, problem is I don't have a shit box to roll up in. So. Yes, you do. You have <laughs> we, a land Rover. Oh yeah. Cool. I, have, I have. I have one you can borrow. There it is. McLaren. <laughs> the chick's not going to know what the hell a McLaren is. Yeah, that's no. true. That's true. She'd be like, "What is this? A Mustang?" And you'd be like, "Yeah." Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah this, this, this is my convertible yes. Camry. Yeah, you, you roll, <laughs> up, in this. You roll like up in this. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. You got it. That's awesome. I got it. <laughs> I got we it. Need to, we need to film that. Yeah, or yeah, Lotus is right. She dumped me for driving McLaren because I'm too stupid to have a. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. Yeah. Hi. I have to say, so I don't know. Would any of you take a V6 twin turbo hybrid Ferrari if it was priced right? Priced right, yes. No, because I don't want to own a Ferrari. Ooh. Well, Thanks, ignore friend. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes, the the Porsche Boxster is sold. Oops. Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, sweet. Yeah. The guy comes Tuesday. So, how about the uh, four thirty? Not yet. Um, no, about that. Couple, couple people interested. No one. No one too serious yet. Um. Actually, we there's a guy. To, we were trying to work a deal on a. <laughs> there's yeah. There's a. There's a so we get we get a lot of weird emails where people are like, "Hey, will you trade this or that for this car?" We had someone wanting to trade us a house. To in, what? In, yeah, I'm serious. No, when so where did I miss? How did I miss this email? The house in Utah? You missed yeah, that? Yeah, the house in yeah. Utah. Oh man! What? No, there was a guy who wanted to trade us his house in Utah. Hold on. For the I'm Ferrari F430, and we were like, so it's a shithole. 
Yeah, we looked it up and we're like, it's a cardboard box. Well, Dan was like, no. And I was like, hold on. Can we make money on this? Yeah. <laughs> we rented out. And so we, and we, so we it. looked it up. And we looked it up and pretty quickly decided, no, we can't make any money on no, this. No, because honestly, the car was worth more than the house. It was yeah. terrible. Damn. But um, how long so ago did this email can... come in? I, I mean, it, if it's a text. If it's a hundred thousand dollar house, I don't expect much. I yeah. think it was worth about sixty to seventy grand. Ooh. Yeah, in Colorado was it a cardboard no, Utah. box? Utah, Utah. Oh, it was Utah. in the middle okay. of nowhere, Utah. Middle of nowhere. Mm. It wasn't by anything. Like there wasn't a grocery store within fifty it was, miles. It was so outside of town that Zillow did not have an estimate on it. Wow, <laughs> that's bad. If Zillow yeah. can't pull a number yeah. up out of its ass, that's bad. Yeah. yeah. No, um, so this dude reached out to us and he's like, Hey, would you be willing to take in a 1000 horsepower Mustang GT 500 or the Shelby GT 500? Did that fall through? We're like, we're like, maybe. <laughs> Did that fall through? It's still, no, it's not, not okay. yet. We're still, we still don't know. I want that thing. I kind of do. I kind of want great ideas for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, fantastic ideas for that so so we gave him a low ball offer basically and watch him be watching right now like taking <laughs> notes well i didn't dan i don't think that was a low ball offer i think that's what it was worth i don't think that was crazy yeah it's it's worth what it's it's a good trade offer was it stock mm -hmm. or modified no, no it was highly <laughs> modified dude it's got a thousand horsepower well i know i know but i didn't know if the gt the gt 500 model had posted that no. no, no, it had like five or six hundred. Okay, it's an 07, so it's probably like oh, around it's an older one. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's an older one, and it's got a brand new engine in it, brand new transmission. It's been totally redone. It's got a Whipple supercharger, and all yeah. sorts of crap. Yeah, it's it would be nuts, but I mean, so we were like, I mean. I was thinking go. of some cool, some cool shit we could do with a Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> do some cool videos. Crowd <laughs> control. Crowd, crowd control videos. Crowd control oh, videos. Geez. See how many people you can mow down leaving cars and coffee in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so the one Mustang I had that got totaled when the shop took it out for a joyride had 750 wheel horsepower, which probably puts it at like. 850 900 horsepower right so this thing's got like a thousand wheel horsepower allegedly allegedly he says he's got the dyno sheets to prove it so if he does that means that's like a 1200 plus horsepower engine yep Whew. damn that's nuts rob yep. rob rob just asked about my car yeah he just showed it i'll show you again here i got it it's it's out of my driveway there it is Wow. And let me show you a picture of the engine. <laughs> <laughs> There's the engine. It's a 302 Cobra Jeez. engine. So you're halfway to a Mustang. <laughs> yeah, halfway yeah. there. <laughs> you got a half a um, Mustang. Wow. It, that car needs everything, though. So it's going to be a while before it's <laughs> driving again. Nice. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what we told the guy. We're just like, whoops. Uh, we told the guy, we're like, look, if we're going to do a trade on this thing, we're doing like a compression test, everything. Like, we need to make sure that this thing's okay. But yeah. Eh. I don't know. That would be a cool video to do a compression test. Yeah, it would. I've done oh, one on video. Easy. No, I know it's easy, but <laughs> not I on a Mustang. I, yeah, yeah, I, I did one on a. On a um, I might have done Cooper. one on a Mustang. Oh, Mini Cooper. <laughs> I've done yeah. a few of those. Oh, that's right. I remember you did when Meg's engine blew up. When yeah. Meg's engine blew. Yeah. Was it the ignition coil? I've had, no. I've had a, several minis with blown engines. They suck. <laughs> she blew the head gasket. Ooh. Yeah. Well, it wasn't really. I mean, it was. Yes, it was her fault, but not really because. It was a that was a pretty catastrophic failure on the parts side. That's right. that's but, a really common failure on those though. The four yeah, cylinder the, stupid, the coolant the coolant housing is plastic. 
Yeah. Oh, geez. It's not like Meg was tracking that car every, every day, right? Right. Yeah. That was, I mean, like, I was pissed about that because we had bought that car since brand new. I'm not sure what I'm winning, but I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, right, John? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> uh, guys, I, I don't... I don't play the violin. My wife does. <laughs> it's a fiddle. Thank you. No. Oh, it, it could be a fiddle or a violin, depending on what kind of music it is. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> You're in Texas, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. What? It's true. Fiddles and violins are the same thing? Yeah, yeah. it's the same thing. What? Oh. It how depends how red your neck is. Yeah. Oh man, Dan, how long have you been in Texas? <laughs> how do you all not know this? I didn't know that either. I'm an idiot. I don't know. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, one time at Bank Camp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. All right, I'm so gonna... we need some sailing stories, Josh. On uh, which car? Uh, we talked about cars way too long this week. Hold on, hold on. I want to know which car did you blow your head gas on twice? But yeah, continue with your story. What story? What do you want to know? <laughs> your your horrible trip. Yeah. Uh, um, we hit bad weather and it was fucking terrible. I got really seasick the first day, um, and I was sick for like a day and a half. And the boat was just all over the place. It was a forty foot catamaran, and uh, I couldn't go inside because as soon as you go inside, you get dizzy. Um, and then, uh, we were doing three hour shifts. So I would drive the, I would be the captain for three hours and the other two guys I was with would sleep. And then I'd get six hours off three hours on. And it was like that for six days. Damn. So I barely, I didn't get hardly any sleep at all. Um, we hit, uh, hit, I don't know if you guys watched the weather last week, but there was a tropical storm in the Caribbean and the Southern Caribbean last week. And we got the tail end of that. So we were getting tossed around. Um, there was like 15 foot swells. I, it was, it was, Damn. it was a few times I was pretty scared. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, what the hell am I doing out here? This is stupid. <laughs> so was your buddy who owns the boat like chill or was he like, Oh shit. So, so <laughs> I, I know him pretty well since we've known each other since we were kids. Um, so I was really watching him to see what his reactions were. <laughs> and that's kind of how I was basing my, uh, like, should I be scared or not? He held it together pretty well. But after it was over, he was like, guys, that was fucked. <laughs> that was fucked. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm glad you didn't tell me that during the trip because yeah, I'm right. Out. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. Hell no. I would have freaked out. Uh, um, wow. The one there was like a, a few points in the trip that were cool. Like there was one point where the weather was nice and we were catching some really cool uh, big swells that were kind of surfing the boat on. And that was pretty cool. That's sweet. And then w one night it was really calm and we were just cruising along on sail power. And I've never seen so many stars in my life. It was it was pretty cool. And we're 100 miles from the nearest human being. Um, Did you see any mermaids? No, dolphins did follow us for a while a couple wow, times, though. Cool. Um, that How was pretty cool. Load, Josh? How many feet? Uh, it's 40 foot. Okay. 40 hmm. foot catamaran. Like oh, a three cool. bedroom with a kitchen in the middle and like a little living room thing. And three rooms? Wow. Yeah. I, I yeah. That's that. super cool. Yeah. I don't think I have any really good pictures of it. Let me see so if I do. If I, if I can find them. I mean, I had, to take, I had to take pictures of the gauges like this every hour. <laughs> Um, to see what our heading was and like wh what the wind direction was and if the sails needed to be adjusted. And I mean, you're literally going like three or four miles an hour the whole time. Was there like a, <laughs> like, was there like a thing of fabric between the two, uh, things? Like I'm looking at mean? pictures, like I'm looking at pictures look at small, of it and it looks like, look at small cats, look at Look at big cats, not small cats. I Googled 40 foot catamaran and that's yeah. what comes up. Here, I'm trying to find a picture for you guys. They might have um, netting between the front and the rear, but like the center is usually yeah. a cabin. Mm. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I mean. This one has pretty ladies laying on the boat. Well, of course it does. <laughs> yeah. No, I definitely didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> they fell off in the ocean the first wave. Yeah. I if I mean if my wife would have came along on this trip, 
I mean, it was it would have been miserable. Oh, I bet. <laughs> because your wife I mean, was, was there. Or because of the weather. No, just she would have <laughs> she would have been miserable. Well, six people trying to share that space. Yeah. <laughs> like if everyone's wise. Well, did you have oh, service while you're out there? No, we, uh, the longest I went without service was like three days. Dang. Oh. I'm sure yeah. right Shortwave radio for the win. <laughs> yeah. Whew. And we try to like get as close as we could to the islands that we were passing. Like we, because we needed to check the weather, we sailed in close to the island until we got service. Uh, Martinique, and we got close to Martinique. And uh, hmm. it was like, oh, cool, we can check the weather. And so then was we, your wife just waiting for you there at the island? No. I, so we went from, like I said, um, U.S. Virgin Island to Grenada. And then I flew back from there, flew back to Austin from there. Gotcha. Man, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I mean, it sounds cool, but it was, yeah. I mean, I, I would maybe say like, say like a one day sailing trip would be cool. Yeah. Um, but I not, love, no, I you got to do, you gotta do island hopping. You shouldn't go open yeah. water. Yeah. yeah. Don't go open yeah. water. Yeah. This open water is up. not cool. Where's your yeah. sense of adventure? <clears throat> I don't want to die. Hot. Everybody I, dies. Adam, like I, said, Adam I, I went into it with that with that um, attitude you know what? or whatever. And I, I am willing I, right now. I, I, I don't know about you guys. I will chip in a thousand dollars to put Adam on a boat, open water, and see how he survives. Yeah, okay. I'm down. Okay. <laughs> Wait, have you ever been? Have you ever been deep sea fishing? You just bought Adam a cruise no. ticket. Yeah. No, no. I'm talking fucking like a little sailboat. Like what I'll Josh did. 40 foot catamaran. Look, all right. Everybody's this is the Air Force. Really He's a hardened man. man. Have you ever been on a boat that's like in big rollers? I'm a good. Uh, it doesn't mean that I wouldn't do it. I don't think so. But do, you know, but look, do you know what it's like to be seasick? It's fucking miserable. Oh my Every, God, dude. Everybody has to die one day. So <laughs> I want I want to go out doing something cool where when people remember me, they'll be like, "You remember how Adam was no, killed?" No one, that no one's gonna remember. Awesome. If you die on a forty foot yeah. cat, no one's dumbass gonna was lost they're at like, sea. They're like, they're yeah. like some stupid dumbasses took a forty foot cat <laughs> out into a big old big old storm and died. That's that's what it looks like. Okay, yeah, and, that's uh, what I found on you on Google. Uh, yeah. Uh-uh. Not in the storm. No, yeah, thank you. No. If it looks like um, I'm gonna sink, I'm like gonna light the boat on fire or something so that it goes down in like a <laughs> explosive flame or something. I'm gonna ruin any chance of being uh, like rescued. Let's well, light it on fire. If, if you've ever seen um, Deadliest Catch, yeah, that's what I it was like. The one night, that's what it was like. I swear to God, it was like, Jeez. dude, here, I had a rain, yeah. I had a rain jacket on and all the, my, only my face was in there. And I'm sitting at the boat holding the big steering wheel and I'm watching the gauges and the boat's just going like this and I can hear the wind howling by my head. Wow. <laughs> and it's like lightning and thunder and you can't see anything. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, 40, 40 foot is not a big boat for open water. Dude, no. I, like I was telling these I mean, guys, there's people on YouTube sailing across the Pacific from Hawaii to Malaysia in like 27 foot sailboats. They're idiots. Those people are dumb. Wow. Dumb it takes them like death wish. Yeah. Two months. Yeah. yeah Dude, this, and... dude, this dude, uh, six gears, said that he rode a jet ski from Florida to Bahamas. That's something I always wanted to do, and I want wow. to do someday. How far is that? It's like two hundred miles. Jesus, Jeez, you need a lot of gas. How many? How many gas cans you got to bring with Damn. you? Yeah. I, I don't, don't think know. You how... would have somebody in a boat follow you with the gas cans. No, oh, I think that, they, actually, they, you know, you see I, those off-road overland cars with the gas cans and shit strapped yeah. on. Wait, you do something like it, that. How is it not uh, 200 miles? Cuba's 90 miles. No, no you no. go from Fort Lauderdale to um, uh, whatever the capital is there. Nassau. Uh, in, Nassau. No, he, Nassau. Said he, flew, he said he went to, uh, to Bahamas. Yeah, Bahamas yeah. from Florida. Bahamas. That's, that's, yeah. that's Bahamas like 200 miles. miles. Bahamas looks closer on the map than yeah, Boynton is, is what you I'm go saying. from Boynton, so it's like the southern. You go basically you're going from Miami to Bahamas. It's only like yeah. 200 miles. 187. My, my buddy. So the the real question is is could you stand the next day? Like, are your legs just shot? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. My my buddy takes his boat to from Miami to Bimini all the time, 
in the Bahamas. Yeah, like, I, I want to. So I admit a boat. I yeah. want to get. I want to get like. Yeah, I mean, a, it's only a thirty footer. I want to get like a forty yep. foot fountain and go from Miami <laughs> to the Bahamas. See, drop, I would drop some duct tape wrap bags in the ocean and run away. I, <laughs> <love it. laughs> I will get on a forty foot yacht or a forty foot catamaran in open seas before I get on a fountain in open water. Dude, well, but the, really, the trip from the Bahamas a, to Florida, get, the water is calm and the, it's shallow. It's not. No, that bad. there there's a YouTube channel I watched that they did that. <laughs> Which is part of my inspiration for wanting to do that, and they like if you have a real like fountain, not my old phone, they will cut through the water no problem. But still, hmm. nope, pass. That's, that's the whole reason those boats weren't created to run from, yeah. like those I'm little not, islands. No, to, I know you. To, I know that, but it's uh, it would be uncomfortable. In a cigarette boat. Well, going 100 miles an hour in big water is uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'd rather go slow in a catamaran in open water. <laughs> <laughs> but then here's the problem. Then you're going like this. You're going like that. Yeah, you could do that thing where you jump at the crest of the wave. So no, it feels shit. like you're... You're, you're going uh, you're to do that for three straight days? No, not three straight days. But imagine my how strong my calves Look, are. Look, I, I, I never, never get seasick. But I was on a boat in like 15, 20 foot rollers for hours and hours. And it got to me. And like you get to this point where all of a sudden you're just like, oh, shit, I'm going to puke. <laughs> this this guy knows what's up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Man, Kitcher, where are you? It looks like you're in a movie theater. <clears throat> I'm in my in-laws. We oh. have the week off. Nice. Yeah, you want to get away from better. them? <laughs> no, actually, uh, they go to sleep. They go to sleep pretty early. They're sleeping right now. Oh. And then uh, my wife's watching Ozark. Someone got like GPS navigating or something. No, I was I, I was looking for a video that my buddy sent me uh, of the boat, uh, the, the boat just like we were on, um, and basically what we were doing here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, dude, you'll see it in a, you'll see it in a second. It's pretty no. much the same boat we were on. Watch this. This is what we were doing, I swear to God. Don't catamarans yeah, have these big, long, like, pot, like pyres or whatever? It's coming. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, Dude, that looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, once or twice, that looks awesome. Yeah, when you can see land and it's For daylight. three days? <laughs> right? Right? Uh, uh, Y'all need to... And when the boat, when the wave hits you at the wrong angle, it's like, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Did it ever scary. feel like it was gonna tip? It yeah, tip, it right? did. Yeah. That's the worst was, was when it, it when the wave gets through from behind and the thing starts tipping forward oh. and it's leaning forward at like a forty-five degree angle and you're like oh, leaning was... forward. <laughs> uh. Uh-uh. No, thank you. Wow. Gee. Well, anyways. I think that would be fun. Never again. <laughs> I think I think we need to call place. Adam out. We need to yeah. all contribute to Adam to, to the Adam Vomit Fund. As okay. much as I would like to see that, I wouldn't want to put anybody through that. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot. Yeah. It really right? says a lot. Yeah, Adam, you know it's bad when Josh is like, I won't contribute money to Adam's pain. Yeah. <laughs> Josh came oh, back with man. a newfound, newfound appreciation of yeah. life. I did. I really did. Oh, the shitty thing is, too, is my dog died when I was gone. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah and I didn't find out until I got back. So I was kind of bummed about that. Is that man. unexpected? Probably better you found out. Yeah. Probably better you found out when you got back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the worst, man. So now my wife is, like, trying to find a puppy. and. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Like, fuck. <laughs> you gotta have two. Yeah. Because the so other one's lo- the other one's lonely now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yep. What type of do you know what type she's trying to find? It'll be a Yorkie. Oh really? I thought yeah. a Yorkie. 
That's what we have. So it'll be another Yorkie. Oh, tiny little guys. Yeah. Man. My wife's like, no more dogs out this one. She's like, we that's, other dog will be. Oof, I'm, that's I'm what coming. I said too. But yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. He had a he had a uh, blood clot in his lung, oh. and he had a, had a heart attack. He was Jeez, older dude. though. He's fifty. Okay. He was fifteen years old. Oh, sounds like a, that's old. That's Jeez. a good. That's, that's a good. damn run. That's old. Yeah, that's a good run. Yeah. That's the shitty part is that my wife took him to the emergency vet, and like thirty two hundred dollars later, he died anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, those, those uh, places suck. God, that's oh, terrible. Yeah. That sucked. Anyways, let's lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, SF... Uh, Someone... Not, but... Go for it. I was saying, someone before was asking what people in here collect besides cars. That's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. He's, oh. <laughs> he said watches. Gee, I don't oh, know I collect yeah. Watches just don't do it for me. I collect me disappointment. <laughs> Yo, you guys are gonna laugh. You guys are gonna laugh at me, and I don't care. But I collect uh, Magic: The Gathering cards. Yeah. Dude, those and are have, worth dude, a lot. I I've collected I them since few... I was in middle school. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? <laughs> dude, I have a few old packs from when I was in middle school. I. You should, hell yeah! I'll take them. Yeah, are they unopened? <laughs> I'll give them to you. Yeah, what they're, are they? they're you know open, they are? but I never. They, Okay. Just old school Magic the Gathering cards. I don't know. Hell yeah. I'll give you. I had like a whole pack, like a whole couple packs with like marbles and stuff for what the glass things were. Yeah. And so I'll <laughs> I'll send them to you. You can have them. Sweet. I tried I tried playing Magic once. <laughs> it's. Once. I actually. I, I, I had. Play... I... Go, Go ahead, ahead Pietro. <laughs> I was gonna say I had all the original Pokemon cards. But I can't like all the original ones. But I can't find them anywhere. I looked at my parents' house when they moved everything. I gotta find them because worth so much money. Imagine being one of those people that collected all those Beanie Babies, thinking they'd be worth millions one day. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Jeez. I don't know what I, I collect. Really, yeah. uh, I don't collect stuff. I collect a lot of dog hair off my dog. I don't know. Yeah. Dude, your dog does shed some She's fierce. <laughs> she sheds like a motherfucker, but she has never had a haircut in her whole life, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, true. I, had I, I actually have... Charizard. I had all the originals. I, uh, I did Pokemon, too, and I still have all my original Pokemon cards. I have all the original sets and all that shit. Why, Why are you still Yeah, I, I got a... I... They're worth so much money now. So much I don't money. even know what to. I, I don't are they now? Really? Like when you say so much money, how much are you talking? Yeah, I think uh, my poke, just just Charizard, my Pokemon cards are probably like worth 100. twenty or thirty grand. Yeah. What? Twenty or thirty grand? <laughs> if you wow. sell them, but you have to sell I, them first. Yes. You have to sell them. Yes. Dude, my wife. There's no time like today. <laughs> yeah, put that in that's the what, business. Uh, that's oh. what people said. That's what people said <laughs> ten years ago when they were worth. Less than half of what they're worth now. But I'm getting, I'm getting point, old baseball cards traded right now. Up. Josh is getting greedy. I'm getting old. <laughs> but I'm I getting actually old like to take them out and like and, look at uh, them. football cards graded. Oh, uh, me... so someone said get them graded. <laughs> Pietro, you're I'm getting. Pietro, Pietro, I actually have them right there. I have like a, over a hundred graded what? magic cards. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. What does graded yeah, mean? I'm, like getting, a I'm getting some baseball cards. Yes. No, it's, it's a, a uh, oh, they give them like a grade. They give them like one and, you want me to get one and show you how they are. It it's the nerdiest shit you've ever seen. There's Here, too I'll many get one and show you. It's There's a scam. Grading is it's a so, it, scam. Yeah. It's another way for someone else to make money off of dumbasses. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's not actually I mean all they're doing is looking at it's like getting it's like getting a diamond graded. It's, I mean, that's, you know, they're grading Except the for quality those people there. actually, like, have to have an education and stuff. Yeah. And hey, that's pretty cool. The senior couple drives their 650 Spider. Yeah. I like it. Be used, be you got to tell them the finger trick in the air vent. Yeah, right. <laughs> God. Sell them to Logan <laughs> and Paul. He bought the fake one for, like, crazy money. Oh, yeah. That was actually kind of funny. 
Yeah, excuse me, they're called NFTs. Yeah, he, those are also bullshit. Yeah. Oh, those are bullshit. NFTs. I have I have I have three NFTs and uh, I bought them for three hundred dollars each and now they're probably worth three cents. Nothing. Yeah. Fucking yeah, good job. Good job. <laughs> see them, they're cars. Yeah, what are they? Yeah, you showed us one, like, one time. I want to copy it. They better be cool. So it, so it was you can't copy them. That's a myth. But um, yeah, they are yeah. completely ran- they're completely random. So here's the Z. Yeah, it's worth three hundred bucks. It? Oh yeah, baby. You paid three hundred dollars yeah. for that. Uh, are you talking and about NFTs? This one, yeah. yes. I can't do Honda those. C- Honda Civic. Oh, that's absolutely worth three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, and, here's a graded so, card. And then uh, a graded <laughs> card. Oh Adam. my god. So do they put it is is that like a so hard basically, plastic show? Yeah, so basically you have to send the card in to Beckett and then they verify mm. authenticity and then they grade it. So they give it a grade depending on how the corners, the edges, the centering and the surface are and then they put it in here. And it so makes it worth uh, Wait, 10 is, it, is the highest. Makes what it worth is the more money. 10 Wait. is the highest. This is an 8.5. Fi- this is but an 8.5. Yeah. Is it just based on the condition of the card or the actual yeah. inherent value yes. of that particular card? No, just the condition. Condition. And a lot of these cards, a lot of these cards are fake, so they verify authenticity. So if you're buying a ten thousand dollar card, you know that it's real if it's been graded. Yep, that's really what it's for. Yeah, and it's what, stops, like, what stops you from getting an eight point five graded and then taking it out and putting it in a non? You can't take the you can't take these apart. They're sealed. So do oh. people want them in those cases? Yeah. Yeah, some of like this is a, yes. this is from they the very first. Them. This is from the very first set. So yes, they want to see them in the case. Oh. So you never play with it ever again. No. This is no, no it's they're for display. like the, they're for display. See, this one's a nine. Ooh. It's almost a nine. Do you is, have any tens? Do you have a ten? I don't. The ten is super super hard to get in there. Ultra it's, valuable. It's funny that your the boat is your nine card. Yeah, yeah but but <laughs> it sounds like you could send in a, you could send in a cheap card that could still get a ten, right? If it's in good. Condition. You could, but it's, right. it's if it's not rare, it's not worth anything. Right. I I never understood grading because it's like you could have a card I'll that never literally say comes you, straight out of the pack and it's not a 10. Right. Because mainly like on these older ones, see how it has a black border around the edge? And then the, the card the card itself is in the middle of that black. It has to be perfectly centered to get a, a high grade on the centering. Yeah. It's just like the uh, cars with Josh, swirls. Josh, all mine are great. Yeah. Paint swirls. By the way, what? I just got to like I gotta point this Thank out. You. We start talking about this shit, the number of viewers is plummeting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about something else. <laughs> Look, I got a, I got a La Ferrari, I got a La Ferrari uh, NFT. Ooh, and it was completely random. See, I could just take a screenshot of that and steal it from you. <laughs> and quick, he's like, Ooh. maybe, it'll, maybe it'll be worth three thirty bucks because I lost fucking three hundred <laughs> on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, Charlie makes a good point on the graded cards too. It costs like 30, 40 bucks to grade a card. So if it's not worth more than that, it doesn't make sense to grade it. Hmm. I I said I'm getting a bunch of baseball cards. No, they you put insurance. Yeah, I've heard people getting um, shipping. I'm getting some baseball cards. I have a I have a making graded right now. Really? Nice. They still do baseball cards. Oh yeah, yeah. Market's all time high right now. Oh. Well, so it inflation. was it's kind of tapering yeah. off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's tapering off a little right, bit right man. now. But... I, mean, I just never understood like collecting tchotchke stuff. You know, it's just like I don't know, like stuff that only has value because people put a value on it. To me, it has I don't know, like, no. But I don't know. Cars, was, cars, cars the same boat. cars. No, for me, but a, car, a car has a you function. Can use. You can a use car can be used. It can do things. A baseball card, what do you do? Stick up your ass? I mean, wipe your butt with it? It doesn't do anything. Well, that's well, that, that's the same it's, thing. It's, it's only got value because some other art. dumbass says, I will give you a shitload of money for that stupid piece of paper. Get just right. It's just Damn. like a little tiny painting. Tell that to every. 
It's just like art. Tell that to anybody who buys art for um, investments. But like, but didn't Beyonce at least just spend art like comes from dollars. someone who's genuinely like got like. That's true. But, okay, if you buy a piece of art, that's true. And Michelangelo <laughs> fucking painted it. That's something. That's like historic. Yeah. Who the fuck wrote the the picture for the little baseball card? It was printed. Yeah. <laughs> It was, so but that's what's cool. Yeah, but that's what's that cool about has, magic. <laughs> yeah, magic at least is handmade, right? Art. These are all all of these are paintings and they have they're artists drawn. Yeah. Yeah, they're all that's paintings. True. But Dan, for me, and for me, it's Charlie, not about the money. It's not about the money for these. It's about like this was a big part of my childhood. So yeah, just having that, these cards. I like fine. to get them that out means, and look at them. And I just like to have them. I don't know. <laughs> that that makes more sense than <laughs> I bought this piece of cardboard to make money on. I did not well, buy Charlie's them to make right. money. <laughs> Charlie, Mitch, you could launder money. Buy money, and the reason, well, in the in the re in, so specifically, like <laughs> in the banking world, people will try to put up their art as collateral <laughs> for lending, right? So they try to. <laughs> yeah, how did that work out, Pietro? Yeah, the bank's hey, not my, like that. But, my so lawnmower. My oh. lawnmower does a lot of things. It holds beer. Yeah, it does not appreciate. It, it does not appreciate. It doesn't. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to make me money, but it keeps my grass cut. <laughs> and I can so, drink a beer while doing it. So, and you can plug in your dildo and charge it there. You could, <laughs> if it was USB charged. <laughs> Does it have a USB Only the charger high on end it? Dildo. Yeah, it's got USB ports yeah. on it. Hell yeah, nice. <laughs> I'm sure you can find a USB dildo somewhere. You <laughs> <laughs> need to make that a video. <laughs> <laughs> Pietro's $8 video card is Kmart laptop or overheating. <laughs> <laughs> Why, am, I, am I freezing or something? Yeah, your connection has sucked the whole day. <laughs> You're not even at your house, and it's just as bad. No, not even at my house. I think I got a new, new computer. It is. It is better. Admittedly, it is better tonight than it was last time. I I, I got this new mesh Wi-Fi system for the house. Oh, you so did. When I go back home, it should, yeah, it should be better. Oh, that'll be good. We'll see. And I just found out that I'm paying eighty dollars a month for one gig of. Uh, no service. I was only getting about a hundred megabytes, so I was pretty pissed that. Oh yeah, yeah. They're coming out and re they're reimbursing me and shit. So I've been having some connectivity issues. I was out with Verizon like all day yesterday. Oh uh, yeah, good, good. That's a good move. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Greg. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> it's live. You can't, you know. Yeah. Stuff's gonna happen. I need a, a beep button. <laughs> we don't have a beep button. There's no yeah. delay, so you can't no. just be like, "Oh crap." But I mean, half of the whatever. Anyway, I'll tell you All what. Right. I'll tell you what I'm drinking. That's so it's pretty good. These vodka mules. They're delicious. Oh yeah, those are pretty good. Hmm. They're good, man. They have seven percent alcohol, and they taste so good. It's one and a half Seven? shots of vodka. Yep. Seven percent. Yeah, I've had those. They're uh, the, all their lines pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. I'm I'm a little Coast disappointed because uh, <laughs> I'm completely out yeah. of wine. Oh, you better go get a refill. Yeah, yeah that's that's oh. BS. I know you have a wine fridge. <laughs> no, we don't. Not yet. What? You have a Not whole here. case of wine? Yeah, you do. No, there's no wine fridge. What's in the counter there? It's just a counter. There's some wine bottles sitting on the counter. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. We we ordered a wine fridge. It's not okay. here yet. Maybe Cheers, that's what I was Tom. Of. And the problem is the only wine we have right now are I have three tigs, which I'm not going to open, and then I have <laughs> two bottles of wine from our wedding. Ah, and I. Don't think those are probably drinkable anymore. Well, you never I know. We, I don't think we, we have, have a, we have a few from our wedding. Yes, there's only one. We have a few from our wedding, and 
We have a few from our wedding. We opened it on our 10 year anniversary and it was dog crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I so good, highly right? doubt these are going to be any good. There you They're... go, Dan. No, you collect wine. No, I don't oh, collect yeah. wine in the wine stomach. Collection. Yeah. Yeah, I drink it. You collect tigs. <laughs> I keep tigs. I keep Charlie, tigs around I because you never name. know when you're going to need one. Yeah. I always like to keep at least one tig just in Special case. Yep. Yeah. 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 Do I have a lot of wine in the fridge? No, I don't. <laughs> Fred, I do use old wine for vinegar. That's well, a good actually. use for it, yeah. Good vinegar. But Ew, growing up, my grandmother a good... used to like do that. Oof, use them for vinegar? Right. I mean, it's probably vinegar. It's probably terrible vinegar. It is vinegar. There's, there's a lot of No, sediment. it's good. It's like... yeah, it's... Charlie asked where the Millers are. They're right here. Yeah, I'm out of beer. I'm out of everything. It's I'm I'm failing at alcohol tonight. I'm terrible. Terrible. Actually, I can show you the bottle. I'll show you one of these. They're they're nasty. Oh no. Do, do, do. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's a crazy Dan's the life of the party. Yes. Apparently, man, it it dies. I had my one bit and I'm already done with it. So, <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I mean, I can brush my mustache. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dan, we don't know what to do without you, Charlie. We made this, Charlie. It is. We actually nice. made it for our wedding. Oh, made the what? Oh, we shit. made the wine labels and all. Oh. Damn. See, Dan and Megs. Valpolicella. 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 Yeah, I can't speak Italian. <laughs> what does that and, mean? Uh, if I tilt it just right, I'm sure you can probably see some horrifying well, sediment in there. Oh, sediment's good for you. Yeah, what does that mean? As long as it's tasting good. Valpolicella. <laughs> Let's see. Is that like kind of wine? I don't even know. My friends Ugh. did a Viking wedding, and I made ten gallons of mead for them. And that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. it, it was six. I, I, it was sixteen percent, and we all got I, fucked up. Oh, that's a that's a part of it. Sorry, region. Gary. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I don't. That's not like an Italian word. No, it's yeah. it's a region in Italy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Don't even know what that region is. What's so he looking at? Yeah, he's like, got a. <laughs> sorry, got a text. I had somebody asked. Somebody, somebody asked a question. <laughs> somebody asked questions. Somebody, yeah. somebody yeah. asked what our family haulers were. I don't have a family. I have a wife, yeah. so we have a M3, a 911, a F350, and a Hyundai Genesis. That's what we I can, have. I can fit my whole family in a 650s. <laughs> it's not your only car, though. No, it's not. <laughs> Have you put your dog in that car? No. Oh. It would never be clean again. Yeah, I would stick that I up was there, right? So yeah. when you gave me a ride home after I dropped off your Jag oh, yeah. when you first moved here, the inside of your Land Rover was disgusting. Oh, it was 100% covered in dog hair. I was and... like, man, I really hope this isn't how he keeps all his vehicles. <laughs> no. She was just in the car for 10 yeah. hours straight, well, the longest the next, she's ever been in a car. The next time I was in it, it was all nice and clean. I was like, whoo. Well, but it was, man, it was it cleaner. Was, it wasn't nice and clean. It was cleaner. It, compared to what it was. Uh, compared, I right. gonna, if I had to drink this, no. It's probably horrible. $1,000, well, I mean, Jan drinks the whole bottle in one shot. Oh, Super chat. I don't even think I could. Honestly, I don't, don't don't threaten that. Someone might do it. You can they actually... haven't yet. They haven't ponied up yet. See the chunks? See the Ugh. chunks in there? Yeah, yeah, those are good for you. Flavor crystals, dude. <laughs> filter and hammer it. Maybe right, if I shake it up a little, I can get some of those. Pour that through a sieve. Yeah, pour it in a coffee pump. filter and. Mmm. No, they're gone. Oh, I shook them better. into the bottom. Perfect. 200 from Fred. Fred. Yeah, Dan will do 200. Or, yeah, Fred will do 200, Dan. Dude, I'm not going to chug this bottle. 
This is disgusting. I wouldn't expect him to chug it, not because it's disgusting, but because it's from his wedding. Yeah, if it wasn't from the wedding. At least invite Meg up here to chug it with you. I have another bottle. Just I have two bottles left. Oh, okay, then chug it. No. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, Daryl asked that. Daryl asked a good question about uh, F1. Mm, yeah. What? Where the non topped off batter and rain? What? Battery. Oh, like a one that you have to add distilled water to? Wait, what? Non topped off battery and rain causing the F1 putter? No. I have not heard of that. Mm. No. There you go. There's the answer. No, I've never heard of it. <laughs> Are you talking like I'm confused up by to, the non top off battery? Are you talking about friends like, up five hundred dollars? I'm not, so dude. I double it, friend. Double it, friend. I literally cannot drink this. It would be disgusting. I would. Fred vomit. would. Fred will pay it too. Yeah, but we'll see you vomit on camera. And then Fred will. Like, I don't want to vomit on Fred camera. will text me and he'll be like invoice me <laughs> <laughs> and, and he'll pay it <laughs> because that's the kind of person yeah, I love this. this. <laughs> one sick right one off. Ass, sick one right off. Tea. Dan, Dan take one for wine. the team. Take one for the team. And then we'll get audited and they'll be like, what the hell is this invoice for a thousand dollars for? <laughs> <laughs> well paying for us Dan was providing it. Oh my god. Dude, don't be the employee who drank the fish sauce. Oh, exactly. Yes. Uh, no, well, that's probably what that tastes boy. like. Well, I mean, you know it's bad because look at look at even the cork has sunk in. Nice. See Let's that? pull the that vacuum. It's all good. Try to open it. Six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've had this is this is from 06. So it's. We're approaching twenty years. I drink twenty year old wine. Everybody has it's a fine. price, so but we just twenty year old wine that was like stored correctly. This was not stored I'm, correctly. Yeah, was and it was homebrew crap or home home wine. It was homemade. Yeah, yeah. everybody yeah, it's, has. It's a terrible. Price. I can already tell you this, but yeah, it's from Texas. Yeah. I'm kind of curious, like just what it smells like. It probably smells absolutely atrocious. All right, maybe I should do it. Yeah. <laughs> Thousand dollars to smell it. The only way I'm gonna do it. Let me see if Meg's still awake. Because can I'm you savor it? it? I, I mean, because this is like you know part of our. Yeah. No, yeah, if so you're like... gonna open it, you have to chug it for whatever. No, no, I'm not gonna chug this. Everybody has a price. We'll just let Fred keep up in the ante. <laughs> there better be two commas. <laughs> two commas. <laughs> two commas. Damn. <laughs> What he doesn't know is the Europeans use commas instead of decimals, so it could just yeah. easily Ooh. be a thousand dollars with yeah. the comma for cents. <laughs> I said a thousand to start, so someone's got to hit it. That he, Harold, not gonna, that cork's not come out. It's gonna fall apart and falling. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Harold, I don't think the prices are coming down. Sorry, dude. I don't think you'll ever see a four thirty under a hundred grand no, no. unless it's a hoopty. No, I think they'll come back down. No. Once rates start going, once rates start getting crazy through the roof. No. But that's I think the thing. Correct, these, aren't, but... these aren't like. By the way, families. this is only for the diehards right now. Because <laughs> the seventy-five else... diehards. Yeah. What did Meg say? Yes. What was that? She said she didn't care. She's like, <laughs> oh, she's got to come and do it with you. I oh, look at. I even can't got a little you're not now. gonna drink it. You are such a disappointment. I mean, if it smells good, I'm sure he'll have it. All right, we need money first. What are you doing just opening shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Start ponying up, man. Super chats. <laughs> Come through. I I take credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> we'll trade you a pizza gift card for $400. You go straight to PayPal, man. Straight to PayPal. Dude, look how far sunk in the cork is. That's amazing. <laughs> There's <laughs> no way that cork comes out. Oh, it's gonna come yeah. out in like four what's pieces. the bad deck? Yeah, that it's gonna disintegrate and go into the, the wine. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll fall apart, but it'll be fine. Well, it's since he's in. being a loser and he's not gonna drink it, it doesn't really matter if it falls into the bottle. I mean, right. if it smells right, I'll try it. But I'm All right, we got four dollars from John. There we go. 
Hey. Dan knows how to remove a strip screw. Damn, there it, there it is. Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's good Lost pop. a little bit. Some Lost of it fell. Oh, uh, well. Shit. It had a good suction, man. Um, I'm, surprised it came, like? I'm surprised it came out that much, though. Oh. No, never yeah. buy a salvage card auction. No, yeah. Screw that. So I have to here. poke the cork in. Oh, God. You can't, you can't you. thread oh, it down wow. and try and pull that last bit up? <laughs> Where'd he go? What is he getting now? Who knows? This is how the stream's going to end tonight with a <laughs> nasty bottle of wine. Oh, yeah. I can't smell it yet because the cork's still in there. So, yeah. yeah this, you, this... Can you run the corkscrew back in and try and pull it out? Oh, it's super saturated. Oof. Yeah, it's going to be bad. It's going to be Fred's up to seven. Fred's up yeah, to 700. Fred's up to 700. Dude. All it's, right. It's Let's below 700 that. with the cork. Cool. <laughs> All right. need an extension. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there. I was able to poke it past. Well, it's in. It's going to be horrifying. <laughs> your, your thumb over it like a hose. Oh, even the color is terrible. Oh, yeah. It's is it super chunky dark. coming out of there? Or is it's that like just... Oh, okay. It's just super dark. It's... Oh, it's, it's like brown, so dark. Right? So bring it in, Dan. Bring it close. Oof. Let's see it. That's vinegar. Vinegar at this point. Chug. Somebody Might as well put some <laughs> olive oil in and get some celery. Yeah, go get some bread and some salt and pepper and olive oil. Might as well make. Oh. Might as well make a meal of it. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Dip your finger okay. and taste it. Damn, Dip you your finger and taste that. it. Do um, it. Do it for the views. Do it for the views. So Do now, two people. Stream, this stream's going to become us drinking, eating weird things on it. Right? Now. People are going to start sending us <laughs> dumb shit to drink and eat. I'm okay with this. No, no. I don't want to puke. Adam, Adam, we oh. should send Adam an MRE dollars. from World War II. Let him MRE. I probably, I should have. Dude, them I've more. eaten so many MREs in my life. Yeah. I'll I'm eat trying to see if I can at least we should, we should get you one from World War II. Yeah, there's that, was, that channel, that guy who does it on YouTube. That was oh, I, I love that guy. I've mm -hmm. watched a ton of his. <laughs> what is it called? Yeah. Well, now I need to find out what it's. Yeah, I watch his videos. All right, you ready? For you watch dollars? all this old stuff. All right, here we go. Zoom in. Holy shit, it's not it's vinegar. Gross. Wow. All right, chug it. 800 nope. bucks. Fred's got you. Wow. Yeah, easy money. <laughs> Dude, it's actually not bad. Dude, they have a <laughs> so it smells like shit, but it's... It smells... Get it's out of here. Are you kidding me? No, I'm serious. Did they have a pepperoni pizza MRE? They didn't have that Hot shit when I was in. Well, good I'll job. I am I am shocked. Yeah, taste the love. <laughs> it tastes like it tastes okay. You should let Meg try it. All right. Give some to Meg. Let Meg try it. Yeah, live on video. Meg. <laughs> let me text her. She's in the other room. That's actually I, I'm impressed. It's not vinegar. Look what, look what Dirty said. <laughs> I love I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. I mean, Dude, what if our next viral video is Dan drinking old ass Dan drinking wine. wine. <laughs> With a busted cork. You can see the cork floating in the bottle. Six guys, one cup. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out on that one. Sorry. Oh my god! Our oh. view count went I'm back game. up by Whatever. ten though. Yeah, it <laughs> Meg, Meg says she's gonna come the try it. Start, the minute she we start getting second. dirty, I mean, it's got a it's got when a very pungent dirty, smell. It's gonna go up. Ooh, the smell is horrible. Dan, it, hmm. Dan, admit, Dan, admit, sex sells. A little cork never hurt anyone. Yeah, Charlie's right, dude. There's one video, one in my entire history that has Megan in a bikini, and it has a lot of views. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. 
thumbnail. Now everybody's going through guys, our videos. Right? They're all going to be like, oh my god, Megan Bikini. <laughs> They're going to find it and tomorrow we'll wake up and the analytics for that video is going to be through the roof. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> be 80 oh. higher. Dude, look, look, look the guys of Look at this. Look how. Do the guys of calendar oh, yeah. look at that it's so saturated it's so oh quirky. i'm sorry you googled that john <laughs> yeah that wasn't a good idea <laughs> just hey gone. you should google I'm blue waffle you. oh no, no. <laughs> Adam, let's not get let's not get started oh, don't google that, Cut that out no lemon now. parties no yeah, yeah don't, don't do that know. no what was no. what was the one that richard said the other day that we were all like laughing so hard we were crying no it was uh from it was the one i found from uh Urban Dictionary, the oh, okay. uh, Alabama tractor pull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was Tennessee or just Tennessee. Let, just let Kentucky, people Kentucky. Win. Kentucky. Either way, Kentucky, Kentucky. tractor pull. Yeah. Just okay. let people do their own research, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're not. We're not saying anything. Oh, here you go. Here you go. That, re that reminds me of that scene from. Hey, hey Meg. <laughs> that reminds me of that scene from Jimmy. He says rusty trombone and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not vinegar, though. I think it peaked a long time ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's not, it's not as bad as you expect. No, it, I mean, it, it's not going to make you sick, but it's no, not. It's not vinegar. It's not good. We, we definitely had some cork bottles, and that yeah. is not, it's not, yeah. It's yeah. not good. No. Like, it's I'm not, not good. I'm not going to choose to drink the rest of it. Yeah. $800. No, I'm not going to drink the, are you kidding me? No. Chug the glass. <laughs> Just the glass. Oh, you guys are still... I thought you were in the after show. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, guys. <laughs> she sounds so disappointed. Yeah. Oh. Hello, internet. <laughs> oh. Meg, Meg. No. <laughs> Fred, Fred offered Dan 800 bucks to chug the wine. She's gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she's like, no, I'm not talking to you guys. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for tonight. <laughs> I'm glad we could entertain you with some stupidity along with the normal stuff. I love Next it. Next week on Should We Drink This? <laughs> no, don't. We are not <laughs> doing that. Price. Yeah. Power steering fluid. We are <laughs> going to know it yet. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, we can generate some more t-shirt sales. Oh, oh God. Uh, oh, uh, uh, there. See, it's putting me to sleep. Um, we are going to do a new thing. Once a week or so, we're going to have it where we put in a special code in our videos. And it gets you a free t-shirt. You shouldn't nice. have said anything just to see how long it takes somebody to find it. Well, these people, I like, I like hooking up the, the, you know, the live stream viewers. That's true. Like so, it's gonna be like numbers. No, like well, room. I don't know. It's gonna be whatever we want it to be. It's gonna be a code like the Zodiac Killer. Ooh, yeah. Think of it as an go. Easter egg. Yeah. In the in the video, like, it'll be a very like you have to watch the entire video in order to see it, kind of thing. Yeah. It might not be at the end. It might be at the end. And it might not be up for more than two seconds. Wait, it might be up for. In Whatever. a live or in a pu uh, published video? Whatever we want. No, published. Yeah. It's what for the super like fans. I like it. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. We thought we'd just start giving away a t-shirt a week or something. Because we love our fans. I'm sure. I'm I love that they encourage Dan to drink nasty wine. And they can wear a premium shirt. <laughs> I mean, think about this. This, this bottle has been... This was... She, this was August 12th, 2006. That was my wedding day. So that was when we drank. Oh, we, I'm August we, 10th. You're August 10th? Oh, that's not bad. What yeah. year? <laughs> that ain't bad. Uh, yeah, 2000. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. 13? 12? 12, 13? 13, 12? Yeah, you ain't got shit. Oh, 6, baby. That's some, Val, that's yeah, some no. Valpolicella, Pietro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that no, was not the, that special. We we made a huge batch of that stuff for the wedding. And then we had like, I think it was like 40 bottles. And then we also did little tiny, like 250 milliliter bottles that we gave away as like, uh, 
gifts or whatever. So it's pretty anyway. Nice. All right. I should shut this down because we'll keep talking and talking. All right. Good night, everyone. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday or something. And we'll end it with this. Here we go.